Hi, and welcome to the channel, guys. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to go over, you know, new stories, books that you guys can read while you're waiting for Overlord Volume 14 to, deliver, to be released, or if you're waiting for, you know, the next chapters of Release That Witch, or if you're waiting for the next volume of How Our Realist Rebuilt the Kingdom. Right. So, you know, there, I have several audiobooks that I've been creating for my channel. And, um, you know, sometimes you read a lot and <laughs> you go through them and you have to wait for the author to actually write the novels. So in the meantime, I'm just going to give you guys some recommendations of other types of stories that I like that are very similar to, you know, isekai, you know, fish out of water type stories where the main character is from modern times, goes into the past or a group of people or, you know, similar type of stories where main character is kind of OP or just basically fish out of water type stories. So um, also um, another uh, another genre that I really like too is the, uh, you know, humans, fuck yeah type of story. So um, for example, there is a short story that you guys can read and um, it's called The Road Not Taken by Harry Turtledove. Now I'll just give you a kind of like a synopsis, like a very short summary of this short story. It's only 20 pages long, but it's basically from the viewpoint of aliens invading Earth and how even though they're able to do space travel, their technology level is kind of like Renaissance level or medieval times level and uh, they they come to modern earth and how it kind of plays out so that's a story that i really liked and uh over here another story that i really liked is the uh, 1632 stories by eric flint um, and it's in the series the series is called ring of fire series but the first book that you should read is the 1632 book and the best summary, it's basically kind of like an alternate history type series, but also a, I guess, a fish out of water time travel type of thing. So it's modern. So a town in modern America, a small town in modern America gets um, transported back in time to an alternate world in Europe. And their, their I guess their town, their landmass or whatever, everything in the town gets transported to medieval type Europe in the middle of like Germany and I think um, those those type of places to 1632 that's the timeline so I really like it because it's not just one character that gets transported it's like a whole town that gets transported and it's kind of how they have to readjust their life uh, to the olden days in 16 and how much um, overpowered they are in terms of you know weaponry thinking and um, yeah it's really interesting because it's, it's a whole town so there's like different type of people some people are like well we should stick together some people are like oh well we should uh, integrate the others and um, it's very American so a lot of American ideals are in this and it's really great because there's a whole bunch of them so like the first book is 19 hours and 22 minutes long. I'm going to put links in the description where you guys can get this um, audible. So you'll be able to click on the link, sign up, get like a free book a month type of thing. Um, yeah, so uh, 1632, I highly recommend it. Written by Eric Flint, really cool. Uh, it's, it's also great if you're into like military type type of style of like writing where like you know guns versus swords type of thing so I really liked it uh, there's a whole bunch of them uh, start with 1632 book number one and then there's like so many okay uh, so the next book that I'm going to recommend is Into the Storm uh, the series is called Destroyer Men the first book is Into the Storm and uh, so instead of a town what you have here is um, a, I guess, a Navy ship, the USS Walker, the, a four-stack destroyer that is retreating from um, Japanese battleships in World War II. So not modern times, but World War II. And they get transported uh, into a whole different world. 
uh, where the technology level is kind of like old school British Empire type um, empire where they don't where uh, ships need sails to, to still where ships need sails to actually move and so they're the only ship in the whole world that uses like steam engines or you know kind of oil and it's um interesting because it's only one ship right so this ship like all it's about the crew and how they kind of survive and there's really interesting um enemies and uh, character i don't i don't want to spoil it because it's also a really good series it's a really long series too i think there's like seven or eight books right now but into the storm by taylor anderson uh, really good if you're also this is also very um kind of military is militaristic so lots of explanations about like the type of ship they're riding the captain um also a lot about the technology like this versus that the cannons versus you know boarding parties um yeah really good book into the storm so you know world war ii uss walker ship gets traveled into uh, alternate dimension where the world is uh, navy uh, ships with sails technology and all other and a, a bit of other surprises I'm not going to spoil it you're gonna you're gonna have to read it also i'll put the link in the description all right so next book or next series uh this book was uh okay first book was really good uh, this is more of like kind of like a political type of book, but also has that hook where it's modern day modern day time uh, warship. Okay, a uh, warship or multi task force. So like a couple of warships, actually not just one, uh, gets transported back in time into 1942. So think of modern warfare weapons. Not so so this one into the storm was like world war ii navy ship this one is like modern times like modern times multinational task force gets transported back in time to 1942 and i think there's like three books in this series uh so it's not a very long series first book is 20 hours long so it's pretty good uh you know i like the first book a lot because it was kind of like the setup and how like badass like how like it they also show like kind of like the the viewpoints of people from 1942 coming up to like this big huge island of a ship and getting sunk and like you know like oh you know it's like it's great when you see the main the main characters do things and it, they're, they're so op <laughs> overpowered and it's great uh, it's kind of like overlord in that sense but also because it's a, a novel an english novel you get a lot of the um kind of like the the thinking behind what they're doing um, so it's very long 20 hours uh, three books pretty good all right so another book that I haven't been able to find the audiobook version of uh, is this book called um, cross time engineer uh, Conrad Stargard so I've read this book probably in college and basically it's about this engineer uh, from Poland who gets transported back in time to 1231 um, in Poland and it I believe it's a few years just before the Mongol invasion so he has to like modernize Poland and basically survive before the Mongol hordes come and destroy um, his his place and this this reminded me a lot of a lot like um, an anime because he's the main character he also kind of has a harem that starts to develop uh, as he go further into the books and um yeah it's really it's a really good book because like he develops like um i think guns he's then, then he shoots like knights and stuff so really good all right next book is um off to be a wizard so this doesn't involve any time traveling in a sense well actually it does because so it in this world magic is actually just code so if you know the right code you can give yourself certain parameters to give yourself like magic so the main character in off to be a wizard uh, the series is called magic 2.0 2.0 there's several um, books 
written by Scott Meyer, is that the main character is a programmer, but he finally kind of figures out how to tweak things in reality using computer code. And uh, because of that, he's able to go back in time to a world, uh, to King Arthur's court, and become a wizard, right? When in reality, he's just a wizard who's able to, um, you know, program reality in that sense. So this is also a really good book, very light reading. Uh, compared to uh, 1632, where it's more serious. Um, you know, 1632 is very serious. Into the Storm is also serious. Weapons of Choice is also serious. This is more, uh, Cross Time Engineer is more of a light type of series, very light. Uh, off to be a Wizard, I would also consider very light. Also, they're uh, very light compared to like the other series that I talked about. So, yeah, Off to be a Wizard, great series. There's a lot of, se there's several books in it written by Scott Myers. Um, yeah, so programmer discovers ability to control reality, decides to go back in time to the King Arth Arthur time and become a wizard. All right, so here's another book that I really liked. Uh, it's only one book, so it's not a series. It's called A Long Time Until Now, and it's written by Michael Z. Williamson. I was hoping that he would write another book, but um, it's been a couple of years now, so uh, this is the only one that came out. And it's a pretty contained story, so you don't need, there's nothing that's like left out. But it's also really good because it's a, instead of like a whole ship or like a whole town or anything, or just one person, it's a military unit that gets um, transported back in time to pale Paleolithic times. So they have guns and they have their portable hardware, uh, 10 soldiers. Uh, but this is like way back in the days, like Imperial Romans, Neolithic Europeans, and some East Indian peasants. And they have their technological advantage and 10 people, but they don't know how to get home. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's also really good if you're into like the whole time travel modern modern military type thing versus like old school old school units uh, i really like this book wish uh he wrote more in the series related but it's also a contained story also really good okay another book that i've read that is also time travel but in a kind of i would call this a different type of genre i would call it kind of like uh, maybe like a thriller mystery like who, what's going to happen type of thing. So it's a guy who is able to time travel through like a closet back to November 22nd, 63, I believe. And basically he's, he tries to stop the assassination of, uh, who was it? Some American president, JFK. Sorry, my American friends. But uh, yeah, so he goes back in time and he tries to stop the JFK shooting. And um, I really liked it because the descriptions of the old time American lifestyle. So this is more of like, so the time travel isn't the kind of the focus. It's more of the focus of the main character going back in time and living life in the olden times. And Stephen King is really good at kind of very descriptive things when he talks about like the olden American times and um, yeah one thing that I I was surprised when I read this this book was that you know it had its mystery thriller but it also had kind of like a slice of life feel to it so when you read it you'll you'll kind of understand what I mean by when I say slice of life um, feeling to it so this was also a very good book all right so here's another book that is also kind of like, you know, modern day time guy getting sent to a different world. So this is called Cast Under an Alien Sun. I haven't read this book yet, but people I've known are saying that it's really good. And the series is Destiny's Crucible. Uh, Cast Under an Alien Sun is the first book. You can also get it in Audible. And um, this is basically about a guy who's like a chemistry major, right? And he somehow gets transported on a beach naked uh, with 
uh, on an Earth, a similar Earth, not Earth exactly, but a similar Earth with the level of technology of 1700s. So he awakes and it's his journey of how he becomes relevant in that world and how he survives. And my friends are saying that it's really good. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but it's on my list to read or listen to in the future. Okay, so that's enough of books. <coughs> uh, let's talk about some uh, dramas, things you could watch. So there's this drama, a Japanese drama uh, that was released in 2009. It's an old drama, but I really liked it because it's about a modern day Japanese doctor who gets sent back in time in the feudal samurai period and he has to survive um, there. So he's a doctor and it's really cool to see how he kind of treats people um, back in the samurai days. And there's two, um, two seasons. There's uh, so season one and then season two. So this is the Japanese version. There's also a Korean version. Uh, the Korean version wasn't as good as the Japanese version. So I recommend uh, if you're going to watch anything, watch the Jin 2009 Japanese version. Okay, um, so that, so uh, the feeling of Jin is more very slice of life. The cinematography of this drama was, was very good. Um, and if you haven't watched any Japanese dramas, um, I would tell you that the Japanese drama is very, well, this, this one specifically is very beautiful. Like just the way they shot it, the music, everything has kind of like a sense of like nostalgia in a sense. It's, it's weird, but it's not very like action oriented in that sense. It's more of like, okay, how is this guy going to deal with never being able to see his family and friends again? And the relationships that he makes in the olden days, in the samurai times. Okay, all right, so the next one, the next drama is more of a romantic kind of drama. So it's about this guy uh, here who travels into the future. So he he's from the past and he travels 300 years into the future and it's about how he has to deal with things and how he has survived, he has to survive. And um, as you can tell, he gets romantically involved with this girl and it, it's it's about their relationship um oh and by the way you can watch dramas Jin probably on my asian tv.se i'll put a link in the description um it's an old drama so you might have to do some searching uh you can watch watch queen queen in hun's man i think on netflix but i'm not sure if it's on netflix if it's not you can you can check out myasiantv.se uh, also in the link in the descri description. Um, all right, so another drama that you can watch that is similar to Jin, but it's Korean, is uh, Live Up To Your Name. So this is, has a lot of time traveling where um, this guy here, an old doctor, olden day doctor, travels to the future uh, through uh, 400 years later to modern times and meets this girl who is a um, modern day doctor and they say so he's basically they somehow travel back in time together back to Joseon like Chosun times old Korean times and um, yeah hijinks ensue it's there's the theme of this uh, Korean drama is more like happy there's like some mystery involved uh, the tone is very different from uh, Jin, so very different dramas, even though both are related to the medical field, doctors going back in time, that type of thing. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like my recommendations. If you do actually read any of these, um, please let me know in the comments like what you think, if you're addicted, or like if I'm ruining your life because now <laughs> you're just listening to all these audiobooks. <laughs> Okay, and again, I'll put all the links in the description where you can get them. Most of these you can get them from Audible, um, and the dramas from myasiantv.se. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like can spend the time listening to these while we wait for you know Overlord and the other light novels to to be written by the authors. <laughs>